And welcome back to another edition of Trogly's Guitars. Today we have a scratch and dent special. Uh, this guitar was slightly damaged in shipping on its way over to us, so we're selling this one at our dealer cost to kind of help the seller out here. Uh, the issue here is a pickup ring broke and there's some cracks stemming uh, from the nut. It really doesn't affect playability, but they are there, so we will sell this guitar as is for parts or repair. However, it actually plays just fine. So, I mean, it could be a great way to get one of these for $500 less than usual. This is a Gibson Les Paul Classic Special Edition uh, Honey Burst 3 pickup model. I believe there were like 200 or 400 of these made. So it's a fairly rare and desirable model, and they usually sell around the 19 to 2,000 range. The firm price on this one will be at 15 shipped. As you can see, uh, the fretboard, I mean, I would usually clean this up and oil it, but I don't want to touch it unless somebody else has purchased it, or I am to be returning the guitar to the original seller. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a good reason why just buy from a well-respected, reputable dealer. This guitar was sold to us in mint condition. And you can see there's scratches and stuff all over this guitar. Uh, just average play wear, nothing extreme. Uh, this is what happens when you uh, buy a guitar that has five pictures that are blurry. That's why I take the risk, so I can verify the guitar so you guys don't have to. So as you can see, some light wear around there. And it looks like this has been repaired before. You can see there's kind of like super glue stain left there. Now I'm not 100% sure if that's a crack right there, or if just of the way it kind of hits it. But that might be a crack. You can see that that's just falling in. Just replace the pickup cover in there, you'll be fine. Now, I can't quite catch it, but there is some checking that stemmed from here, so this must have got dropped hard at some point in time. Now, there's no cracking there, but at the very right angle, you can see there's some checking. Onwards to the back of the guitar. I mean, this guitar is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I've said that, but this has such a an active top to it, and the back is just as gorgeous. You can see your serial number there. Now it's not a headstock break in like the usual smile area. It's over here on the sides, and we'll look at those closer here in a minute. But the rest of the guitar is in good shape here. But the back does show lots of wear for a mint condition guitar. Uh, lots of play wear back here. It appears to be uh, all original. And it is in decent shape, but I definitely want to call it mint condition. Especially now that it's been damaged. Okay, so let's take a look at the neck here. The worst of it all, luckily, is on the treble side of the neck, the part of the neck you never see. Angle the guitar here a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty bad in photos. However, you know, closer up, it's not deep. Like, I'm not sure, I, I've had this happen to a few guitars, and every single one of them play just fine. However, it is there, so I cannot sell this guitar in good faith, knowing that that's there. And what I mean by that is, like, selling it as it's uh, no issue or anything. It, it could potentially become an issue later on down the road, but... I don't really see that there's a way to even get glue into that. 
it feels like it's more in the finish. So maybe you'll get lucky, get this one for 15, to sand off the finish of the neck and maybe it's just fine underneath. Fortunately, I've never been brave enough to do that on a guitar where this happens. But once again, you can you can feel it if you have your nail. So I, I believe it is into the wood, but I don't think it's something you can really repair without finding a way to fully break that. It's such a weird area. And as you can see, it stems from the nut. Because what I almost think it is, is the uh, fretboard. Like where they join the fretboard. And then at that point it just kind of splits towards the end. And then on the side that you'll see when you're playing, the bass side, there is a little bit of one. And it's not too bad, but once again it is there. So I want you to be aware of it. Because that's why we're selling this one for so cheap. Had this not have happened, you know, we would have been selling it for 19 But overall, I mean, it's a nice plain guitar. If you do decide to purchase this, I will gladly uh, polish the fretboard up for you and the frets, make it look nice. But overall, this is a scratch and dent special. It will be sold as is. And... That's about all we got for you today. You can contact me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash trogles, T-R-O-G-O-Y-S. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.